maniacs outfitted city buses with automatic weapons. They're shooting everyone in sight. We need to take control of this situation before the military catches wind of it. If we need the dozen that might use those weapons to break through the warranty, they will take action. You just sit around all day dreaming about blowing stuff up. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, so, new enemy here, I guess you could call it. These buses are controlled by the Dustman, obviously, and they fly around the... Fly around? They drive around the city, shooting everything. And they are not the easiest things in the world to kill, that's for sure. What you gotta do is get on top of them and not screw up like I just did. Okay, now we got more to take out. And this is going to be like the uh, Reaper type side missions where you would have to destroy the oil tanks and stuff for this area. Now we have to destroy like three more of them. Exactly, I thought you hated them, Zeke. Oh, lots of gunshot victims are coming to the hospital. What's going on out there? Trash baggage. You gotta respect that. I'll catch you later. God, there's like four different dialogues going on at once. I can't follow all of it. I can't follow all this dialogue. There's too much of it. Oh, wow, there's one of the buses we... I guess we destroyed that one already. And it's literally all the way on top of a building. That's cool. At least it's a sort of smaller building. Uh, what do we have to do for this mission? The 14th Precinct's getting hammered by the dustman. Get over there and help him out. If we lose that precinct, we're in a world of trouble. Well, it's not like you guys actually do anything in the first place, so really, I could care less because you guys don't exactly help me that much. But hey, you're trying to help, so because of that, and since you're not actually making things worse like some people, <coughs> Zeke, I will help you out, just because I'm nice. This is not an easy mission, though. I know what this is now. This is not an easy mission. There are a... Oh, yeah, we've got Karmatic Overload back. We'll probably be using it in the next mission, actually. Because the next mission is a pretty intense one that's going to take a lot of a video to record, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, though, because it's a really, really epic battle. Hey, we did it! Fuck uh, prison. This, like I said in the last video, is a pretty fun and pretty epic mission, in my opinion. I enjoy this one, actually, quite a bit. So, let's roll. Hey, Zeke, what's up? We need to move some lobs to a more secure area of the prison. Gotta hold off the trash baggers while they make the move. What the hell is a lob? A prisoner, man. You know, a shank holder. Come on, give it the lingo. Oh, and check it out. That walkway up there is cracking with juice. Little thing I whipped up. Wow, thanks. Ain't damn right. Yeah, sounds like a good... Thank you, Zeke. You actually did something intelligent. Keep those things off, it's cold. Okay. Now, we have to protect the fence and the stuff here. But this part is pretty easy. You just have to keep shockwaving and you'll be fine. It's not like they can really do anything to you. Oh, wow. That was actually a pretty good shot if they were aiming for the light post, which I'm sure they weren't, but would have been a pretty good shot. So, yeah, you have the unlimited electricity of this fence or whatever you want to call it of the electrical uh, walkway so that's quite helpful like I said Zeke actually did something intelligent for once that's a first don't worry his stupidity will kick in again during this mission so don't worry a couple of other electrical areas set up at least in other parts of the fight they usually don't take it out that fast though so this is going to be a pretty intense fight, so try not to hit the cops, though, just for... Because they do... They slightly help, so... Yeah, we don't need to kill them. Oh, like I said, they are so stupid at times. They freaking fire RPGs from, like, two feet away. Idiots. Ah, oh. God, cops! 
stop getting in my way, please. You're making this way more difficult. And now, Karmic Overload! Did I even hit him once? Wow. That was really bad. Karmic Overload! God, stop standing in front of me, you morons! You were not helping me! Okay, so as you saw there, infinite electricity for a short period of time certainly does not hurt to have, but it also drops your max, it also drops your karma temporarily. Well, not temporarily, it just drops your karma and you have to refill it to maximum on either side. Dialogue is so confusing during this mission because it keeps like switching between people. Looks like just a couple more up here. Goodbye. Just get home, dude. Hey, you know what? Gigawatt blades. Oh yeah. Pretty cool power, actually. Like I showed, I think it was originally like only a pre-order bonus or something, if I read correctly. Okay, down here, you're going to have three or four of these pads that are, because not just they give you the infinite electricity, but you can heal from them. And in this case, there's, you know, four of them, so it's a lot easier. Heal up real quick. Oh, whoa, that guy, like, jumped the wall. Holy crap. Uh, okay, Cole, this is not good. And he destroyed it, as expected. Uh, let's get to this one before they destroy this one or something by accident. Uh, guys on the machine guns, you guys could be helping out a little bit more here, just saying. Okay, so now once we kill this guy... There we go, and Karmic Overload is re-established. bitches! What the hell are you doing, Seek? I told you to stay in the Now that old man ain't going nowhere! They got him dressed up like a spring goose! Zeke? No, you weren't supposed to do that, Zeke. Zeke, you were not supposed to do that. Can't I just kill you now, you moron? By the time I got inside, it was too late. The place was slick with gore. Poor bastards never got any backup. If Zeke kept his post, they'd be alive now. And Alden would still be in a cage. I'm not sure Zeke's ever gonna forgive himself for this. I don't know that he should. I like that. That night, we could hear the screams from Tent City. Were drunk on power, proud of their victory over the cops and over me. Now the race fear seems farther away than ever. Alden knows we're coming. They'll prepare. All right, well, Zeke shows his stupidity yet again by letting Alden escape. Good job, Zeke. Your karma is unchanged. Generally, your karma will have gone down because if you use a karmatic burst or whatever. Overload. Yeah, overload. Where the hell have you been, Cole? I've been trying to reach you. Alden's gone, Moya. Transients busted him out and killed every cop in the prison. This is unacceptable, Cole. You had explicit orders to keep him there. What the hell happened? Look, don't lay this on me. I did everything I could. Zeke is the one who blew it. I told him to stay back and help the cops, but he wouldn't listen. It's time to cut him loose, Cole. He's become a liability, and we have no margin for error, especially with Alden back on the streets. I'm gonna make a run on the next substation and beat the hell out of some bad guys. Okay, so 
As is normal, Zeke managed to screw everything up again.